everyone welcome back to how Tech. today we have an iphone 12 pro max and we're going to show you how to change the language and most importantly we're going to show you how to change from a language you don't understand into a language you do understand because that happens sometimes let's say you bought this on ebay it came straight from hong kong it was already set up in chinese you don't read chinese we'll tell you how to change it back into english or whatever language hopefully you can understand english since i'm speaking english so anyway um what you want to do is you want to go to the settings menu, which is the gear. And again, it might not be in English, so look for the gear. And then you want to go down to general and look for, in this case, language and region. So it's a little bit above VPN, dictionary, then language and region in the one, two, three, fourth from the top section. And in English, it's pretty clear to see, but who knows what language your phone will be in but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So in this case, you can adjust the iPhone language and you can pick, let's change it into traditional Chinese and it's gonna tell you, do you wanna apply this? And yeah, and so now it's actually changing right away. So that's pretty cool. And it's already into Chinese. So great, so now we're back here and let's just go all the way back. Let's kill that. And let's say we just turned the phone on and hey, it's in Chinese. What the hell's going on? I can't read anything. What am I gonna do? So first of all, look for the gear. And in this case, it says Shading, which means settings. So uh, click on that. And you have to find the general, which in this case is also a gear. It's like a simpler gear. And in Chinese, it's Iban. And now you have to find that language and region. So remember, it's one, two, three, four above VPN, so basically the one above VPN. I guess VPN always stays as VPN, at least in Chinese. Uh, and it's second from the bottom in that one, two, three, fourth section. So this is Yu Yen and Di Chu, which is basically language and regions. And you go to the first one, which is iPhone language. So hopefully it says iPhone something something, and it's Chinese here. So we'll pick that and you can pick whatever you want. So let's do Spanish in this case. My Spanish is a little bit rusty, but I think I could still figure it out. So now you notice we're back at that menu, idioma and re, e region. And you can also happen to notice that there's English, there's Chinese, and now Spanish. So in other words, all the languages that you've been selecting are actually showing up here as sort of shortcuts or recently used ones. So hopefully English is just showing up right here if someone switched it, like if someone played a prank on you and switched it into Swahili, and you manage to get back here, you should see English here. But in this case, you can actually also, I think, uh, pick the order. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, you can actually put English here, and I think that will actually also change the language. So this is actually now not just the language, but the preferred language order. So in other words, like, I think the way that this comes in is, let's say if I were to download a Spanish app, that also had like a Chinese uh, interface that could be picked, but it didn't have English. So in this case, if I downloaded it, it doesn't have an English interface, but it does have a Spanish interface. So it would display in Spanish when I open that app up or even on the home screen. But if it didn't have Spanish, but it did have Chinese, it would pick traditional Chinese instead of something else. So anyway, that's what I believe the language order is, which is different than the keyboard order which is a whole separate video. But anyway, that's how you change from a language you do understand into a language you may not understand, a different language, and then obviously back. So for you guys who buy this phone on eBay and get it in some language or someone played a prank on you, this video is for you. I actually, you'd be surprised at how many people leave comments, hopefully below here. Eventually there will be some too, who say like, oh my God, you helped me so much. I couldn't figure it out. So anyway, that's it for today. See you guys next time, bye. Well, welcome back to Hotex. Today we have an iPhone 12 Pro, hot off the presses. I just picked it up at the Apple Store. It is the morning of the release, the 23rd of October.